Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Rolling 18. I'm back at a different company, but with the same boss, if that makes any sense. Because I work with this guy who owns a couple trucks and he's still pulling containers, but he, he went into the yellow truck that I made that one video in and I left and went to JMJ Transportation. And I got his Western Star for now. But if everything goes good over here, I'm going to buy me a Peterbilt or a Kenworth or something shit, to be honest. My ultimate goal is a Peterbilt or a Kenworth. But if I don't get one from a first truck, I'll get one sooner or later. But this ain't the best truck, but he said that we'll paint it after the winter time. But yeah, this is the Western Star. It's a 2000 Western Star. It's not the, uh, uh, it's the one with the setback axle because usually the Western Star is the, the tire would be like right here. And this one back there. And it's not the long, oh my God. It's not the large car. There we go. It's not the large car Western Star, but it's a freaking Western Star. I don't really know anything about Western Stars, but it's a pretty nice truck. It's got some power. Uh, transmission temp. Manifold PSI. Engine oil temp. Engine oil PSI. It's cold outside, y'all. Sorry, I'm breathing like a fat ass right now. Engine coolant temperature. <laughs> Engine exhaust temperature. The RPM. The speed. Your air. <sighs> primary secondary the suspension this is how much pressure is on your suspension uh, your front rear axle your rear rear axle temps tractor application you know that's when you put the brake your volts and your fuel the fuel gauge it works but yeah I eyeball it anyway engine brake the speed of your engine brake cruise control on or off Set the cruise control, resume, speed up with the cruise on, slow down with it on, engine fan, idle speed. I don't know what the hell that is, to be honest. I don't know what that is. That's the mirror to adjust it. This is the headlights. Well, these two are actually your headlights. Your low beam and your high beam. He wired this in here. Because this one don't work. If you push it to the third click, you'll blow the fuse. Dash lights, turn them up and down, you know. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. It's some type of light. Another light. <laughs> Another light. Another light. Another light. I don't know. I don't know. The mirror defrost. This is for your axle to lock your diff. This is to lower your airbags in the back for when you're going under or pulling out from a trailer. Slide your fifth wheel. You're in your windshield wipers and your brakes in my calendar. The glove box, the whole Ford is right there. Uh, it's just not the glove box in there. The radio, the CB radio. Speaker over there, my speaker right there. And you got a fan right there. Don't look like one of them old school truck drivers with the fan in the window. I'm just getting all moved in and everything, guys. This, I say he had an old, uh, redneck APU on here with a damn air conditioner right there but he said that the unit for the generator was right there but I'm gonna get a flag to cover that up and I, and I have to put my light back up here I mean it's a truck y'all shit I don't work at one of these big old companies ain't, ain't nobody got time for that stuff ain't nobody got time for that nah I'm playing but anyway, here's my closet. I don't have nothing in there yet because I just started. My TLX bag. Shout out to TLX. I still love this company to death. It was just too big. Well, it's not that it was too big for me. I just like, like the shit I'm in now. It's the boss, me, and one other dude. And the boss is still driving. The boss, he pretty much says, like, the truck is yours. Like, we're splitting it down the middle. The truck is pretty much yours. You don't have no payment on it or nothing, but you can't just take it and go home and say, oh, fuck it. You know, but 
Like, the truck is pretty much yours while you're working for him. There we go. I mean, whatever, if that makes any sense. But we split it all down the middle. Uh, you know, like, you pick your own loads. You do your own thing. Like, the container stuff, it, it wasn't working out for me. Uh, you know, I don't like to sit and wait for stuff, which I'm sitting and waiting right now because, uh, you know, it's my first day. They're working me in. But, uh, yeah, this is it. I'm going to have my refrigerator right here. I'm thinking about putting a TV up there on that. <clears throat> for when I'm in here laying down, I can watch TV and look at some boonies. Yeah, I, I haven't slept in a truck in a while, so I'm kind of excited, nervous. It's a 10-speed, by the way. I think I failed to mention that. Uh, oh, there's storage right here. You, you know, the ceiling will go up higher once the light is on there. It's dirty, though. It's an old truck. Y'all should have seen me before I cleaned this truck out. It was pretty dirty in here. The floor is still dirty. I need to do it better. But it looks a million times better. Because my boss, he's one of those. If it runs... We work in that mug. Man, that's, yeah. If it runs, it put it down the road. But he knows how to work on his stuff, though. I will say that. Uh, <clears throat> the containers, it wasn't bad. It was pretty fun. But I just did not want to uh, not make money. I mean, I didn't really want to come back over the road like I'm going to be doing. I'll be running Ohio... PA, New York, Indiana.